And when we first upholstered the deck, remember I, I tucked some, uh, some pieces down inside where we went around the arms. And now's a good time to go and tack those down. Also, there's some pieces of the inside arm that come through here as well. And I will be tacking those as also. We don't want to pull those too tight because uh, I don't want to make a, 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 a dip in our pieces. So we're just going to tug those gently and put a couple staples in them. And those can just get tucked up inside. And now I will install the weld cord all around the outside. We want to start applying our perimeter bottom weld cord in the back in the center. Now when we start, I'm going to want to take and cut any ends off. And I'm going to position that about an inch beyond that, that center line. And then we'll staple this down to the leg. When we get to the leg, we're going to want to make a little cut. See this, this salvage will go inside that leg. Now we're going to pull it snug, wrap it around, and make a second cut. Then I like to cut this salvage. I like to cut about half of it off. In some cases we may need to go back and trim even more of it. Hopefully half will work well. We can pull it tight, wrap it around, and tack it to the other side. Then I will just continue that same procedure all the way around. When you're wrapping your walk cord around your leg, you want your salvage to point up into the chair, just as it shows here. What we'll do is we'll come back later and we'll probably do some blind stitching here and we'll pull this up. Um, I'll have to work with it and see how it goes. Sometimes I end up cutting some more salvage off. Uh, in some cases you may not have to blind stitch this at all, but we'll see how it's going to work for us. Okay, we've now worked our way around back to where we started. Now you'll see I've, I've left this a little loose here and what we're going to do is we'll cut this off a little bit beyond. We're going to peel our cover fabric back. We have to snip a few stitches. Now we're going to trim this inner welt cord so that it butts up to the other end. And then we'll put a little hem on here. I'll just kind of fold this under and I will line it up with the center mark I made earlier. Slide that in. Pull it over. Once we have the welt cord on and the tack strip applied, we have to come back and deal with where we went around the legs. And this is, in this case, we have a front leg. You can see the salvage from the welt cord. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to blind stitch this fold or up here uh, that was on the front of the deck. Then we'll be able to remove the staple I have in here. And we're going to tuck this salvage from the welt cord right underneath this decking material and we will blind stitch. I have completed the blind stitching and now I will remove this 
staple that's in here. Use my regulator. Now if I need to, I can pull this back and I can put a couple of staples in the salvage that's on this welt cord and then I can pull this fabric down tight when I blind stitch it. In fact, I, I probably will do that now. Now I can just pull this down. And I'll run along there with a with a blind stitch. Here you can see the finished corner. We blind stitched right through here. Up through here. We tuck the salvage from the weld cord underneath the decking fabric blind stitched along here and we also put some tacks on the salvage to to hold uh, the decking fabric from pulling our welt cord up and also to help hold the welt uh, the uh, deck material down um, you can use your regulator if you have a little few little spots that you want to just kind of smooth out just kind of move your your cotton around in there and it just kind of kind of takes out any lumps. There we go. And now we just need to complete that on all four corners. On the underside of the chair, I'm going to install a full thickness of cotton. I'm not going to trim it because when we use the hog rings to, to attach the springs, to the webbing. Uh, some of these have come through and these have a, a pretty good sharp point on them. Um, if you have pets that might want to go under the chair or if at some point uh, people are moving your furniture around, uh, you could get caught on these and somebody could get cut. So we're going to use a full thickness of cotton. I like to use a good heavy cam rig for my dust covers. Uh, if you don't specify that you want a good, heavy, old-fashioned type cambric, you'll get the real cheap stuff that's almost see-through. So make sure when you order your cambric that you uh, that you go uh, tell them you want the good, heavy stuff. Um, I think it's worth the extra money to get a better quality fabric. And once the cotton has been applied. We can take our cambric, I've centered it here, folded it over and put a staple in here. And uh, now I'm just going to fold it over, uh, make sure my cotton isn't sneaking out under the edge there. And we'll just tack it across the front. Once you have stapled across the front, you're going to need to cut to get around your legs. A good way to do that is to fold your cambric on a diagonal like so. You take your shears and you can cut up to the back corner of the leg. And you can cut some of this off. We don't need that much, a little less to fold over. And fold that back under and uh, get that where you want it and then fold it again underneath this way. 
All right, we'll put a tack in right there. Probably gonna have to play with this a little bit to get it right where you want it. A nice trick that I like to do is I like to have my regulator ready so I can just kind of hold that right there and uh, hold that under and that helps helps me to pull it all the way over gets my fingers out of the way while I tack that down other side I've got quite a bit of extra here I can just cut that off and do the same thing and we'll just fold that under get it right where you want it mark it with your Regulator where you want to fold it. Don't forget to make sure that you want to, when you when you pull this tight, it's going to want to pull away from your legs. So you're going to have to compensate for that when you're making your folds. Now, before I pull this tight to the back, I'm going to go ahead and do this other front leg. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing on this front leg that I demonstrated on the opposite side. I'll get that in place, and then I'll go back and I'll pull it tight to the back. Do around the back legs and then the sides. Here we have the completed dust cover. No uh, sharp edges to get caught on. Everything's nice and smooth and well padded. So we're all set there. Now we can put that down and work on our cushion and arm covers.